Welcome to Crew News. I'm Anna Ferris. And I'm Noah Francis, here to share with you what's happening at St. Henry. Let's look back at the week. Our boys basketball team is your 2020 All-A Classic champions. The Crusaders defeated the Frankfurt by a score of 77-70. to 70. Wyatt Veith was named the MVP of the tournament. Congrats, boys. The academic team recently competed in the Governor's Cup tournament. During the competition, the future problem solvers came in first place, and the team came overall in fourth place. The members advancing to the state tournament on February 15th are James Carroll, Aaron Eyrick, Jacob Ball, Noel Trimbach, Griffin Gold, Zach Owen, and Noah Francis. Congrats to the team on the season, and best of luck moving forward. Now for Crusaders of the Week. Congratulations to Aiden Fromm and Noah Francis for being chosen for Crusader of the Week for January 27th to 31st. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. And now let's turn to what's happening now. As a reminder, we will have a 1 o'clock dismissal this week. Additionally, we will also have a day off school next Friday, February 14th. Bishop Roger Foyes gave us the day off at the Diocesan Catholic Schools Mass. Thank goodness. And um, furthermore, we will also have Monday, February 17th off for President's Day. The country celebrates the birthday of our founding father and first president, George Washington, on this national holiday. Lots of days off coming up in the next couple of weeks. Yes. Um, the Hello Dolly performance is this year's school spring musical. It's coming up February 28th, 29th, and March 1st. Hope to see you there. If we could sell 850 or more raffle tickets, we've got another day coming off, <laughs> coming your way. Another one. <laughs> right now, we are behind in 10K raffle sales compared to last year, and we need your help. Tickets can be bought online, or you can pick up vouchers from the front office. Have any questions? You can email Mrs. Kolkmeyer or Mrs. Mindorf. And don't forget, if you sell a total of eight or more tickets by February 22nd, you'll get to be out of uniform for the entire month of May. <laughs> Additionally, there are four more $25 gift cards to be raffled off to any student who sells an additional raffle ticket by this Thursday. Now for NHS applications. National Honor Society applications are due this Friday. All applications should be turned into Ms. Kaiser. Another thing is we have upcoming retreats. Our juniors just got back from retreat today and the theme of the retreat was journeying, journeying to Christ. The next retreat is Monday. The entire sophomore class will be going on retreat. Their theme will be theology of the body and the retreatants will be called to reflect on their identities as sons and daughters of God. Please pray for them. Now let's look for sports. The boys basketball team defeated Newport by a score of 84 to 60. The crew faced next face, what the? Okay, let's start from that part, okay. The, and now let's turn to our sports segment. The boys basketball team defeated Newport by a score of 84 to 60. The crew next faced Lloyd Memorial on Friday and will host senior night on Tuesday as they take on Beachwood. The girls basketball team over the weekend defeated Holmes High School with a score of 57 to 47 before falling to Seton High School by a score of 35 to 58 earlier this week. Up next is a game against Lloyd Memorial High School on February 5th. The Aqua Crew, turning to swimming now, are this year's 2020 NKAC champs in the boys, girls, and combined categories. The crew won 12 events, had 30 top 8 finishes, and set 5 new meet records. Nice job, team. <laughs> Nick Rieger set a new school record in track in the 60 meter dash this past weekend at the Wildcat Classic indoor meet with a time of 7.51 seconds. Well done, Nick. Nice job. The archery team will also be headed to the NASP Regional Tournament on February 8th in Mason County. The Aqua Crew is headed to Regionals this Saturday. Hopefully they will continue with their great performances. Best of luck.
The track team will be competing in a meet this weekend in Mason County. Best of luck to you all. And finally, the cheerleaders are going to Walt Disney World to compete in the National Cheer High School Cheerleading Competition on February 6th. This is the most prestigious championship in the country, and it will be televised on ESPN and ESPN2. Best of luck. Come out and support the crew. <laughs> And that's a wrap for this week's crew news. As always, we'd like to thank our sponsors, the Malay Company, Athletic Boosters, and St. Vincent DePaul for making this possible. I'm Anna. And I'm Noah, signing off.